Uh, the coaching staff are great. Eddie's awesome. He's really understanding and he's also very consistent in his like in him pushing us to our limits and making sure that we're supported in the fullest that we possibly can. And the SS staff are awesome because they're always there for you. If you need something, they're willing to help you. And it's just, it's really great support that we've got here at the AAS. What is good attack, what is bad attack? What defines a good attack? What makes an attack good? What makes an attack bad? And then from that, you might be able to then go, okay, well, obviously then we need this to be happening. We need this to be happening. I think the intera interaction between coach and athlete needs to develop over time, so you need a little bit of time. We spend a lot of time early on talking about and working out what was the expectations between us and for each pool session and what the requirements were, what was our standard. And I think that set a good tone for then what happened after that. So in general, we, we keep hitting on kind of key concepts that we want to try to get out of our program. That translates to the pool, and part of it is the skill. So we're talking about skill, learning, dealing with, with difficult situations and moving forward through those as kind of our keys. And so in the pool, I've got to juggle as a coach about giving enough information when it's needed, but also not giving enough information so that they have to explore how to actually deal with situations themselves. What did you see, Talia? Yeah, you tried to go the cross fine. So some of those games we create, I don't give too much away. So this is what's going to happen. This is what's going. You know, this is what I want to to throw at you. Go and deal with it. And then as we come up against situations, you then maybe have to add in a bit more information. Or once they start kind of seeing what needs to happen, then maybe they have a, sort of higher level questions that need to be dealt with. But so for me, the balance is being supportive but also not too much and kind of demanding of them at times about well you you find that such that solution because this is about you developing your skills and your abilities not necessarily me so I've got to kind of help facilitate that and be a bit more of a teacher rather than a director.